we're gonna go we're gonna go high output okay hi everyone this is uh uh the no what what is it what are we calling it hold on let me pull up these facts for these no today. oh this is a subliminal message what's up everybody this is the no sense nonsense podcast with jeffrey and with aaron say hello jeffrey what's up everybody all right, so we decided to start this podcast. This is episode one of No Sense Nonsense. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about stuff that doesn't really make any sense, but we're going to talk about it. So that's the plan. And I've, I'm hungry, so I brought some gummy bears. I'm going to let Jeffrey hold on to the phone for a second because I feel like I'm going to pass out. I just, I'm not, I don't really like gummy bears, but uh, I have a friend that sent me 1,000 gummy bears. And so I just, I suddenly have to eat gummy bears. I have to get rid of them somehow. So the main thing about this podcast is uh, basically we go on walks, sometimes daily, or mm-hmm. hikes or whatever. And so we're going to try the idea of doing a podcast while on a walk or a hike. And we're here, uh, him and me are here, and we're also with our good buddy, Rascal. Our dog. He's Brother from another mother. He's the man. Yeah. He's like the coolest golden retriever. Yeah. You know. So, um, last I just I just want to talk about this. Last night we watched this movie. It's called Taxi Driver. Remember? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We Dude. finally we finally finished Taxi Driver. That we movie know... is a work of art. Yeah, I liked it. I thought it was great. We know it's old. It's okay. <laughs> it was strange. The whole entire movie built up, and we're like, is he gonna start killing some people or what? And then like we don't want to give it away, but it was a it was a great movie. Yeah, for those for those younger listeners that have never heard of Robert De Niro and Taxi Driver, you know. Yeah, because how many people how many people are going to hear this po- this first episode of our podcast and they're going to be like, "Oh, they ruined Taxi Driver for me." <laughs> like if you haven't seen Taxi Driver, you need to go and see Taxi Driver because I thought it was a decent movie. And Robert De Niro and he was probably like in his 20s when he made this movie. I mean, I don't really know. You know how actors always look young. He could have been in his 30s. I don't know. He could have been 15. We just don't know. Yeah. (laughs) You know, in Hollywood, you're never too young and you're never too old. (laughs) Yep. Yep. Speaking of car movies, what do you think about the, the Fate of the Furious? Um... Haven't seen it yet, but I <laughs> honestly I feel like I feel like they need to stop with the Fast and Furious movies. I think it's time. We were all really sad and, um, when Paul Walker died, and I feel like they should have ended it with him because Paul Walker was such a huge part of those movies. Without Paul Walker, it's just going to be like a like it's going to be kind of like Cranked. Remember Cranked or Crank, Crank with Jason <laughs> Statham? I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna be like no, that. No, no, no. See my, see my opinion on the Fast and Furious. It, the ship has sailed. Fast Five was about as far as they should have taken it, and now it's turned instead of Fast and it's instead of the Fast and the Furious or instead of Fast and Furious, it's now Mission Improbable. And if they renamed it Mission Improbable and rebranded it, then maybe. Well, you know? <laughs> and here's the thing. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bash the movie. I mean, for for people who just like, like extreme like action that doesn't really make any sense they're not bad movies but i think but let's be honest mad max fury road blew them out of the water yeah <laughs> mad mad max fury road that was a good movie we sat didn't we sit down recently and watch that again i don't know but i'd totally sit down and watch it again yeah me too <laughs> it was a really decent movie uh, let's be honest oh yeah i was i was reading an article speaking of mad max i was reading an article on uh what was it top five or top five reasons hey, why how's it going <laughs> we're just our, we're walking by we're walking by our grandparents driveway and we're just saying hello sorry what were you saying uh it was it was just it was going over different facts of why mad max was a great movie and why the academy overlooked it because the academy is a bunch of old men that would rather elect some stuffy movie that no that no person would watch except them you know you can go on eBay now and like buy the steering wheel. <laughs> I have a buddy at work that uh, <laughs> decided to spend like ninety dollars and buy 
the Wolverine leather jacket. <laughs> Ninety dollars act actually isn't bad. Is it real leather? No, no, no. It's like those JCPenney leather jackets that we have that we paid like 20, 30 bucks for. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, except it's the one they used in the movie. I can almost guarantee it. Well, I mean, it's not the one they used in the movie. <laughs> well, no. It's buddy. just they, they used the same design. They probably bought the design from actually the actor. Who's that guy? Wolverine. Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. Thank you. Hugh Jackman. <laughs> he probably owns the rights to the jacket himself, and he was like, I'm going to make a little extra cash. Yeah, inside. I think, uh, who is it, Universal mm -hmm. would own it. Uh, probably makes sense. It's probably not Universal, Probably guys. says Universal <laughs> right on the tag. <laughs> okay, this is, this is going on for way too long. I don't, I don't think it's Universal. <sighs> so, I'm so happy. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say I'm so happy spring is finally here. Like the snow is finally, there's only little patches. Yeah. Up on our mountain here, the deer are out. It feels good. It feels like, it feels like, things are in the air, for uh, this summer. Good things. Yeah, like not snow. You know, we live up in the north, by the way, and we get a lot of snow. We do get a lot of snow. <laughs> this year we had a lot of snow. I wasn't here for it. I was in India, <laughs> but I hear. I hear from, from from the grapevine, which is something that old people say to talk about word of mouth. Word of mouth? Word of mouth. Remember that ludicrous album? Word of <laughs> <laughs> We just went there. Word now of, we're talking about ludicrous and word his of, music. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Oh, mouth. Yeah. Right. M-O-U. Mm -hmm. I, I just that. thought of that. I don't know why. Um, remember... Remember the song, um, uh, Sexting? Yeah. 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 I'm just sitting in this rehab class trying to get myself unhooked on beep. Anyway, I'm trying to censor this podcast. We can try to censor it. I tried to, I tried to listen to that song the other day and I realized how bad it was. It may, like, it was okay, but it just wasn't what I remember it being in my teenage years. <laughs> like, in your in your rebel teenage years. Yeah, you know, my rebel my rebel years of being a teenager. We are now going through a gate. So we it have says to... no trust button, uh. but as long as we stay low we won't get shot at. I hope. So So how was work today? Well, you know, doing that mattress thing. I for everybody that doesn't know, I deliver mattresses for a major mattress distribution company. <clears throat> and you just and you just bought a house too. I did buy a house. I bought myself a house. That's exciting. Yep. I bought it, fixed it up, rented it out. On to the next one. <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Somebody I told somebody that you bought a house. And they were like, oh, is he gonna move into it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, bro. <laughs> I, I learned from the best. I learned from Jeffrey. I'm like, only stupid people buy a house and live in it. <laughs> yeah, it is better to rent it out. Hey, I, I'm getting paid for it, so, you know. Sure. But, yeah, so how was your day? Well, I was on a film set today. Well, we were making a, we were making a small, uh, short uh, commercial for yeah, yeah, a really exciting program that's going to be starting up in Spokane, Washington. So that's what I did all day today. It was really nice. Had a good vibe with all the people on set. Everything went really well. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Right on. So oh. have you gotten any new movies lately? Oh, let me see. Yes. Uh, Puerto Ricans in Paris. Or is that what it's called? Puerto Ricans. I think we talked about that. Yeah, we talked about. Well, not with you. And guys. I said that it sounds, it sounds dirty. Puerto Ricans in Paris. I I don't know, I don't know. And then I got the, that uh, Nicolas Cage movie. Uh, hopefully it's good, uh, because a lot of his movies lately have is not it, been good. Is it a, is it a rape movie? <laughs> I feel like it might be a rape movie. It could, it's either a okay. rape movie or a revenge movie. So, okay, here's the thing about uh, Nicolas Cage. 
Um, I was a big fan. And then I'm still a big fan when he has a good movie. I mean, The Rock and National Treasure. I know you I got haters out there. I don't understand. He is a but great actor. We uh, He just gets the bad roles. We decided to watch two movies, two different nights. The first night we watched uh, 8 millimeter, and the second no. night we watched Frozen Ground. We're not, both, I don't... <laughs> after that, I'd like, didn't we watch them both in a row? No. We, we were like, we're going to have a Nicol, Nicolas Cage movie night. And yeah. then we watched both of those movies, both and we movies. felt violated because they're both <laughs> rape movies. Yeah, no, it was... Uh... And the thing the thing is, is it's, it's crazy because are both of them true stories? I know Frozen Ground was. Uh, eight millimeters, not. Yeah. I, well, I think it's based. It's kind of like Taken. Sure, yeah. Taken could be a true story, but it's. Probably I mean, Frozen not. was a really crazy story, and it's a true story. But it, it was, it was a, it was a murdering rape movie. It was. I should rephrase that. Taken's not a true story. What is a true story is the things that happen in Taken. Liam Neeson's character does not exist in this scenario. Yeah. So that makes it kind of a darker movie, mm -hmm. if you think of it like that. But still, a good movie. I mean, but three of them. The third one's grasping at straws. Like, it's kind of laughable, but... I mean, I feel like Liam Neeson should be in The Expendables. Come on, guys. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. I can see that. Maybe he is. No, I don't think so. I don't know about The Expendables. I like maybe it's Maybe it's just me. I, I, all these new... There's so many new movies that are coming out that I'm just not happy with. The, we've, we've gone into this... We've fallen into this realm of, like, action movies... Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Suicide Squad was terrible. Honestly, it was the worst. <laughs> I'm tired of going to the theater to see movies because they're just... Yeah. I, lo I literally walked out of Suicide Squad at the end. I didn't walk out in the middle of the movie because I ain't going to pay $10 and then waste it by walking out halfway through. But I watched Suicide Squad all the way through, walked out, and the only good part about that movie was Will Smith and the song Heathens at the end of the movie. <laughs> Yeah, Will Smith and did a I, good job in that movie. And Jared Leto did a good job, and so did the person that played, uh, uh, what's her name? <laughs> I'm blanking, guys. Margaret feel, Robert, Robbie, or whatever her name is. I feel like that was a really different kind of role for Nicholas, er, for, for uh, Will Smith. I mean, well, I Well, yeah, I, I mean, he's basically supporting the entire cast of terrible characters. He's supposed to be, like, a little bit of, like, a superhero, and I don't think he's ever played a super... No, never mind. Hancock. Yes. Hancock. Hancock. And you know what? Hancock was a better Hancock movie than Suicide Squad. Great. <laughs> Man, I forgot about Hancock. That was a good movie. Okay, moving on. I'm sorry. Okay, so what's next on the agenda? Well... There's flowers out. There's, there's, we got flowers. We got a lot of pu purple flowers on the mountain. I'm making, I'm making Jeffrey hold the mic today because... Yeah, my hand's all I'm, icing over. I'm, I'm, I'm going into my third bag of... Uh, of um, they're miniature Gum, gummy bears. It's they're miniature bags, guys. Yeah. It's not like a <laughs> yeah. Like I rarely eat sweets. I eat very healthy. I love to mountain climb. I love to hike. Oh, I stay very fit. But every once in a while, man, I haven't had food for a while. I'm starting to get shaky. So okay, so these fiber one bars. Yeah. You know, you I got some new fiber one bars. I did, and they uh. So I usually got the what are they? Ch chocolate fiber one bars this is, for okay, backpacking. This is not a paid commercial, but. You guys probably already figured that out by now. Yeah, nobody's paying us for this. That would be great if somebody would, but they are not going to. At least not for a while. Um, no, but so I so I got uh, Next week, so I get, get these so I get these uh, chocolate uh, fiber one bars for backpacking, or I actually tried to just eat fiber one bars and like snacks at work, but I get hungry anyways. Um, but anyways, I got a new kind of fiber one bar. I think they're breakfast bars, I'm not sure, but they're lemon flavored and they're delicious. Mm. And they're really cheap at Winco. So it was like two bucks a box or something. <laughs> and, but I mean, I was shocked by the fact that they are miniature bars. Mm. <laughs> like I opened them up, I'm like, what is this? The box is half empty. It's kind of like the chip bags full of air. It's not even half full. <laughs> you know, it's, it's really sort of starting to come to my realization that this podcast really is a, uh, a no-sense, nonsense podcast. And it's a necessary part of society. I, yeah, I mean, I would love to actually do it in a podcast form, but I think we're going to start this on YouTube because YouTube's free. Honestly, I feel like 
we come up with we we talk about some really deep stuff and we just realized that we need to start making this into a podcast form i know a buddy a buddy of mine at work we do the same thing man we we talk some really deep stuff and we were like man we should totally record this or video it you know just blank out the logos yeah. oh, crouching under a tree be to crouch we always we always come up with things to talk about when we're walking so this podcast this whole podcast is probably going to be made with us walking so yeah because it um, seems to be when our brains work best I, I, obviously that can be debated but you know whatever so real quick i don't want to um i don't want to buzz market or anything but um i'm kind of upset about the subscribers on my youtube channel i don't have as many as i'd like yeah i feel like i have decent content yeah, um, my bro, my bro's got very decent content. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, do it. I don't understand why I have 177 subscribers. He has 177 <laughs> subscribers, but I think the reason why is because you did those. He yeah. did like two tutorials. Yeah. And they weren't even like they 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 were like really <laughs> simple stuff like how to download YouTube video. Well, and that like, one didn't get any views. We talked about this yesterday. That one didn't get any views, but I did do something for a couple things to do with mac that are like super basic and i was like oh, i'll just do them and one of them almost has i think it's around 150,000 views um well. yeah and, oh did you hear today uh youtube is upping the amount of people or the amount of uh views you have to get before youtube will pay you but the really? thing is with youtube which i don't understand is like they i have it. a Where'd lot of views huh. uh, today it was all over the news huh. they upped it to 10,000 views I think 10,000 views, because if it was 10,000 subscribers, there's no way. Like, nobody has that. I doubt it's 10,000 Oh, dude, tons of people have that. I know, but nobody like us has 10, that. 10,000 subscribers is rookie numbers. <laughs> Them is rookie numbers. Yeah, well, Hey, getting, man, I got 45. I'm building up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> getting past rookie numbers so, is a long climb. So go check out my YouTube channel. It's Aaron Rittenauer. That's A-A-R-O-N. Rittenauer is R-I-T-T-E-N-O-U-R. Go check out my YouTube channel. Please yeah. hit that subscribe button and watch some of my videos and let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, uh, and you can check out mine. It doesn't have a lot of stuff on it, but there's some fun stuff on there. Uh, it's uh, Mac... Ooh, ooh. Uh, 121. 121 Mac Freak. Oh, 121 M-A-C-F-R-E-A-K. Mac Freak. And uh, I also have an Instagram feed. Wait, hold on. Is this podcast going up on your YouTube channel? I don't know. I, mean, I don't know where it's going. We haven't made this decision yet. You yeah. may not have to check out his pot, his YouTube channel because you it might, might already, already be on a YouTube channel. You might already be there. Check out my, uh, hold on. I got I haven't posted photos in a while on Instagram. I'm MacFreak815 on Instagram. Check out my photos, man. I got, I got like 205 followers. And what really sucks is I had 250. I was posting every day. And I had a whole bunch of people following me. And I was really enjoying Instagram. And then I bought this house. And I haven't. Uh, buying a house is a big job. Yeah. It's a lot of work, paperwork, just stressing. Man. It takes time to stress. The weather's so nice. I know. You can see the moon. We, the This afternoon, or this morning, I was supposed to be on a, a film shoot oh. outside. My stomach's growling. And it was so, um, it was so rainy, we had to call it off, and we went, we went inside and had to get, get our shots that we were doing indoors. And then this afternoon, it cleared up really nice, and we had nothing but clouds, which was nice because lighting is always better in clouds. And we got all our all our shots outdoors that we needed. Clouds, it, just it's the best natural lighting with clouds is like the best lighting there is. Oh, so. yeah. So even though, so just to give you an idea, the snow's been melting for many moons, and I think what is this like three feet of snow? We have three feet of snow left on the ground oh what's the date today april 6th it is april 6th today yeah. i only know that because of my vlog go check out my youtube channel um we have three feet of snow on the ground still outside of our house this is crazy yeah and it's melting it's been but melting it's just, for days it's just a pile yeah it's and we got mud in the driveway man there's, driveway dude, there's still so much snow below the roof you could almost jump from there and jump almost grab onto the roof and pull yourself up yeah <laughs> yeah almost. that's trippy man. oh hold on before before we do anything i was i i should have done this on our way 
up the mountain, but we're back home now. Maybe we should do a vlog on your on your GoPro. Yeah, we could do that, but yeah, I need to do a. I, I did a vlog today. Um, like a vlog, walking vlog, similar a, to this. I did a vlog today on the set of the of our shoot, and I just, I just want to. Okay, we're recording now. Um, uh, this we're making our we're working on our first podcast right now. Hold on. It's gonna be. Yeah. To help with sound. Go, go check. Go check out the podcast. I'm not really sure what YouTube channel it's gonna be on yet, but we're gonna be putting it up on YouTube. Um, It'll happen. Yeah. So and we're doing. I'm doing a vlog, and we're also doing a podcast. And yes, I know. Hopefully, this is still our recording. Our first podcast is being recorded with this Sony phone. This is not an advertisement for Sony. I'm not a fan of this phone. <laughs> I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you we're recording on this phone because we have no other choice. But don't worry about it. We got. We have very expensive. Mi- I have some very expensive microphones. My battery's almost dead. Yeah. I have some very expensive microphones, but we couldn't figure out how to hook it up to the phone, and that's all we have right now. We don't have a receiver, uh, you know so what we you need could to do? do that. You know what you could do? I got a thought. We could try doing video if you want, but we could hook up your mic to this, right. hook this up to the pole, and then we could just video it, and we wouldn't have to put the video up. We don't have to. But we could if you want. We could if it's interesting. That would be ridiculous. Who would watch? Who would watch that? That might even be more entertaining. I I don't know. My battery is almost dead on this camera, so um, it's been a great vlog today, April sixth. We are gonna go do some stuff. I'm oh in... look, there's a lion drinking out of a puddle. Yeah. Look at that lion. That's our brother Rascal. It's our dog. He's a golden retriever. What a man. Hold on. Let me see that. All right, we're gonna. I gotta look and see if this is still recording. Oh, it's so stiff. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa, our podcast our podcast is hitting 22 minutes. We got to let you go. We have things to do. Yeah, Hope eat. you enjoyed our first podcast. Uh, yeah. We'll talk to you. We're going to be doing one podcast every week. We will talk to you guys next week. Enjoy and follow us on YouTube.